Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another video. Today's one is very special to me, as we finally, after two years, have gotten our hands on one of the games that revolutionized rail racing. You guessed it right, it's FRA. The memories I made playing FRA during 2019 are so many that I can't count them. The friends I made on there and the hours I spent on the game each and every day, I will not ever forget. You might be wondering what happened two years ago, so just give me a few minutes of your time and I'll give you a detailed explanation. So I started playing the game when I first got my PC. Around January of 2019, that's when the game was at its peak and every F1 fan or Roblox played this game. FRA's owner was Gemzem, keep this name in mind as you will need it for later. And he had a team that helped him make the game. Are you still following? Okay, good. So, there we are, playing a game with no annoying game passes or paywalls and organizing our own races, counting our own laps, you know, the OG way. I would go on the game each day to play with my friends and everything was generally going great. It was going so great that the developers started making a new chassis and tracks to, up the, to update the game. First chassis test game was uploaded on April 20th, 2019 and then a second game two months later and then a third one around uh, the same time. Everyone was hyped and ready to experience this new chassis game when Gemzem deleted his account and quit Roblox. At that time I was very surprised, I didn't know what had happened and to be honest I still don't. But I have heard a few things here and there that he had problems with his personal life. No idea if that's true or not, if anyone knows, please do let me know in the comments. So Gemzem deleted his account and if I can remember correctly, we were told to check this new game out which was Project Apex. Keep in mind this is early 2020 and we haven't arrived to the present yet. After 3 days their discord also shut down and we were left with Project Apex and the game that was doomed. And surely enough, after a year or so, the game kind of broke down, the chassis was destroyed and generally the game didn't work as intended. And we were left with a post Project Apex as it had been taken down at the time and we only had ripoffs with stolen assets to play. A dark time for row racing if you ask me. Fast forward to the start of 2020. Project Apex has now been released again, but this time they were ready to lead the F1 games. And lead they did. Now you might be wondering what happened with FRA. Well, a guy called Spitfire 600 bought the assets from one of the FRA's developers who is now also working at Project Apex. He made the league which has been running for 32 seasons now, yes 32, and fixed most of the problems that the game had. Fast forward to a few days ago, the owner of now RFA, I know a lot of confusing names, or Atra, bought those assets from Spitfire 600 and made an immediate announcement on his Discord that the game would be playable within 2 hours. And so it was. We finally got a playable version of the game with a few bits and pieces removed, but everything from the original pit stops to cars to chassis are still there and you can play it for free today. This was the rise, fall and revival of FRA. I spent a lot of time making this video so I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. I'll include all the links in the description and it's worth noting that I'll be making a lot more of these videos so stay tuned. And until the next time, stay safe, play FRA and bye bye